Hey, everybody. Ah, shit. Um, uh, this is, uh, okay, so this is one of probably about a dozen products that um, um, Recoil Audio makes to replace other products on the market. Typically, what they've been doing is making uh, exact replacements for that specific product, mostly because uh, a lot of these products have overlap, um, but um, uh, people are fixated on the original product. And so the closer that you make it to the original, the, 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 the more uh, niche it fits. Does that make sense? So, uh, shit, give me a second. I got a nosebleed. There we go. Not that I got like a cocaine nosebleed, but uh, I, I'm an adult. I have my cocaine habit under control. I just didn't wanna, I had blood all over my fingers. Um, okay, so this is the, uh, basically the equivalent to the audio control LC2, LC2i, you know, all the revisions that they make of them. Um, I'm not gonna give a set price on this because typically I, I make the price and then uh, 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 Eric, the online guy, will then undercut me. So Eric, nothing against you, but fuck you. Uh, <laughs> so what I will do is just make it $5 cheaper. So come come see me, text me direct, 602-312-6504. You still get the one-year warranty, but you're just going through me, and you save five bucks. So I think they sell it for anywhere from uh, $75, I think, is, is about what they sell it for on Amazon. I'll give you the link to that if you want to buy through Amazon, like if you have a credit or whatever. If you want to pay with your credit card, you can uh, do it through PayPal with me. That's fine, too. Uh, one of the great things I like about this is they integrated the digital voltmeter, into the uh, knob, which they sell under a couple of other products uh, that have like, they have one that's, um, I think it's the LCV, uh, which is just an RCA in and out, and then it has 12 volts uh, on the back. But this, um, also the other one, which is a, it's just a line, out a line out converter. For some reason, they put a short cable in there. I think it's only like eight or 10 feet. Uh, this one has the longer cable. Um, I, I forget the part number on that one. I'll put a link to that one as well so you can just see the difference. So, but basically this one also offers clipping indicator, uh, base enhancement. So it basically takes the place of an epicenter and also has line level input. Um, it has remote in and out. And then the base remote is uh, this, the phone cable. And of course, if this looks a lot like the WaveTech stuff, that's because it's probably a knockoff of the WaveTech stuff, which is again, a knockoff of the LC2 stuff from Audio Control. Again, Recoil sort of undercuts the market and just gives a big fuck you to all the people that uh, uh, weren't grateful and you know didn't keep buying the stuff that uh, uh, Edge was making them. So in fact, Edge still makes a lot of those products. They're just not, uh, they're, I don't know, uh, they, they just don't make it for that brand anymore because they're like, we can do our own. And then they save like 20% and it's like, you, you've, you sacrificed a relationship over 20%, you dipshit. So anyways, don't be a dipshit. <laughs> Uh, look at the PLOC2 as an alternative to the uh, LC2 from Audio Control and some other ones that say like bass, bass restoration and stuff like that. Basically, this is just a bass boost. And so the more you turn it up, it just sort of compensates for, for the way that uh, uh, Audio Control does. Again, as long as there's no patent, uh, you can just knock it off over in China. And that's what uh, having those uh, was it H1 visas that you give to the Chinese students to come over here and uh, study our engineering and just learn how to be electrical engineers and electronics and things like that and also familiar with the market so um and then you know for while they're here you use them basically as slaves and then when they go home they're able to be an engineer instead of a, just a farmhand and make a, a really good living for their family so uh, h1 vz is actually a really really great deal uh as a way to sort of export um not only american education but just american values um and uh the way of life which is you know having a nice standard of living so anyways, this is very compact. Uh, it does have a little jumper for signal sensing, auto sensing. Uh, I always leave it on. That way you don't have to run a remote, but then it still has the remote out if you put it on signal sensing. And then you can sit there and adjust how much bass you want, bass level, main level, bass X, and all that kind of stuff. Just watch the maximize thing. Uh, it'll get, it's basically a clipping indicator and you can go through some of this. This, one of these, this, a lot of this, um, 
finalization and R&D was uh, done through uh, Larry Frederick as well. So and you can see there, uh, nine volts uh, input. So this can be used for a lot of stuff, uh, motorcycles and all that kind of stuff. Factory setups where um, you actually have quite a bit of uh, input voltage coming in. So that's it, that's my review. Again, if you want this, just contact me direct, 602-312-6504. Text, please don't call. Sometimes I'm not available for that. Most of the time I'm not available for that. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. I love you. Bye.